Hey guys, and welcome to another special Throwback Thursday edition of Gifted Monkey TV. All things toy and toy related. On Throwback Thursdays, the first Thursday of every month, here at Gifted Monkey TV, we take a look at some vintage collectible action figures and toys. And when we come back, we're going to take a look at an action figure three pack that features a man of steel and a history that's absolutely super. Respect the monkey! All right, guys, and keeping with the promise of our Throwback Thursday vintage awesomeness, here we are, a three-pack figure set from the guys at Kenner. Remember Kenner? For you guys who are just new at collecting, Kenner was a precursor to like Hasbro. In fact, I think uh, Hasbro bought and absorbed Kenner uh, back in the 1990s. But Kenner was a big, a big deal back in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and even up into the late nine, mid to late 90s. Kenner made action figures, toys, and board games, and they were they and Mattel and Hasbro uh, pretty much ran the whole gamut. And Kenner went out of business predominantly in the mid 1990s, early uh, late 90s, and. Uh, Hasbro brought them up. But this is an action figure three pack set of 12 inch Superman. It was an FAO Schwartz exclusive, and we are going vintage because speaking of FAO Schwartz, some of you guys don't know FAO Schwartz was a traditional toy store. They sell basically high end, higher scale toys wooden toys, wooden horses, stuff like that, actual life size doll figures, exclusive Barbies that you couldn't find at Toys R Us. They were out before Toys R Us. In fact, F.L. Schwartz, I think, existed from the late 1930s all the way into the mid-2000s. I just went out of business in about 2006, I think, and there's only like three of them left around. There's one in uh, Las Vegas, one in San Francisco, and I think there's one in London, England, F.L. Schwartz. They were a big deal in the toy market. They were like the Toys R Us of that era. This is pre preceding Toys R Us. Um, and so very high-end collectibles. This was an exclusive that they had when after the death of Superman. When Superman died back in the 90s in his comic book, uh, everybody was gone crazy because they didn't know, only DC knew on the cover that they were going to bring Superman back a year later. But in between that time, toy collectors and toy manufacturers went crazy because everybody wanted Superman, Superman, Superman stuff. And we hadn't seen a lot of Superman stuff up until that time. And so F.A.O. Schwartz uh, uh, produced an exclusive three-pack from Kenner of Superman dating him back from the 1930s to the 1970s to the 1990s, which at the time this came out in 1998. So this was in the 1990s when Superman had just come back uh, from his death. So let's take a look at this box first of all. Very simple box with the nice uh, Superman shield on the front. Nice little twilight uh, bolts like a steel cover. And it says, the history of Superman collection right there. It's a little dusty. I actually, I didn't get this on eBay. I actually brought this back in the 90s, mint condition from FAO Schwartz in Glendale, California at the time. So here it is on the side. It says the same thing, Superman collection. On the back, you see in small letters, Kenner. That was Kenner. And on the side, again, Superman collection. And because this is a premium for me, I collect a lot of Superman stuff. I'm a big Superman fan. So uh, for me, I don't take a lot of my stuff out of the box. This is one of the collection things I do not take out of the box, but I'm glad to share it with you. If you guys can get an inkling of what it looks like, and you can get your own and take it out of the box and display it. But mine stays in the box, but we're going to open it and see what it looks like. Ready? Let's take a look. This is a nice reveal in this box. It is a Velcro closed, but it opens like this. And look at that, guys. Isn't that sweet? We're going to take a closer look at all the detail of the flaps and all the inner workings of this box. This is such a nice, unique set that they had at the time. Remember, this is going back to 19, mid-1990s, 90, anywhere from 95 to 98, I think this came out. And uh, they didn't do a lot of 12-inch superhero action figures at the time. So these are just basic action figures with basic uh, articulation. There's nothing super about the articulation, excuse the pun. And nothing great in the feet articulation because the boots are solid plastic. But look at this. They have a Superman from the 1940s when he was created. Look at that. The small S emblem with the yellow in the background. 
and the hair and the sculpt, sculpt style, the square chin, low cut hair, lighter blue costume, shorter cape. Very nice. And then a comic representation of that time period right next to him to his right. Very nice. And then we move over. We have a, we have a 1970s iteration of Superman. Slightly darker blue in costume. A bigger S emblem on his shield, on his uh, chest, on his uniform. L slightly longer cape. A little bit longer hairstyle. And a little bit less severe is his look on his face. The different head sculpts on all three of these, which is really nice. A little bit longer hair and a different, uh, more calming 70s, almost like Christopher Reeves was, like the, the Boy Scout era of uh, Superman in the 70s. So more calming, I'm here, America type of look on his face. Then we go to the 90s after his rebirth. This is Superman when he came back to life. When he had the longer mullet style haircut, a little more serious a face on him, stern face, like I'm not going to mess around anymore, bad guys. Not that, and on that, and to his right, they give you a 1990s comic book cover of that uh, era of Superman. Darker color costume, nice. Bigger shield. The shield on him is a little more bigger and a longer cape. Very nice. All these costumes are sewn very nice. You don't see any big seams or stitching in these. They all have the same plastic boots, basically, except for this Superman's boots are a little darker, but it's the same mold, just a little darker. Same type of tights they have on, except, again, this Superman's tights are a little darker than these two Superman's tights. Uh, same belts. All of them have the same type of belts. And uh, just really good stuff on the cape. You can't see where they're attached. The cape is sewn into the top. Very nice. Very good, and it says the history of Superman on here. It's very nice presentation. And on the last end, they give you a foil card, which was something in the 90s. Comic books had foil covers. Some of them had different uh, variation of foil covers. It was a big deal back in the mid to late 90s for comic book collectors to have that foil type cover. So they gave you that representation over here on the side with the last piece of card, which is a foil cover comic book co cover right there. And then on the side, if we can see that, on the side, it gives you a nice little story synopsis of each era of the 1940s, of how Superman came about and what he did in the 40s, in the 70s, who Superman was to the public in the 70s, and in the 90s, talking about the death of Superman and his resurrection. Very nice over here. On this side here, we see they have the history of Superman, and it tells you Superman in general about his history. You, can, you guys can pause it and read that if you want close up. Very nice information with the Superman crest and emblem right on the inside. Very nice, that is. Very nice representation. This is beautiful. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick look at our vintage Throwback Thursday look at the 1995 to 98 F.A.L. Schwartz exclusive Kenner three-pack of Superman through the history. This is a nice presentation. I like this. This is something I could not take out of the box because it wouldn't represent itself as well in separate pieces or, or, or variations of a form. It looks so good in the packaging the way they made it, and I think that's how they made this to be displayed in the packaging at the time. This is a nice piece of work. Is it up to Hot Toys quality or anything that we see nowadays? No, not at all. But back in the 1990s, I mentioned earlier, they didn't have this type of 12-inch figure out, especially superhero-related. You had G.I. Joes, maybe, and other things like that, but not superhero-related 12-inch figures. Uh, they were just starting to explore that back in that time period. Uh, should you get them? Hmm. This thing at the time in mint condition when it was brought from F.A.L. Schwartz stores exclusively, it ran about $125 for these three guys. It was a big deal at the time. Um, I don't know if you can find it on eBay and Amazon. You might be. I don't know if it's more expensive than $125 now or if it's under. I don't know the value. But to me, as a Superman collector and all things Superman, I love this and it's invaluable. So to me, it's a win. I would say if you collect all things Superman and you're able to find this at a good price, it's a nice addition to add to any Superman collection, no matter what you collect of Superman, especially if you're an action figure collector of Superman 
or you collect all things Superman, a great addition. For one, it's because Kenner was a company that who was no longer in existence, so there's a piece of history there. Two, it's also FAO Schwartz exclusives, which FAO Schwartz is no longer like FAO Schwartz was back in the day. So that's a nice little time piece uh, of vintage uh, memorabilia. And three, it's Superman up to the time when he came back from his death, which is a nice piece of vintage memorabilia to have in your collection. So it's a wonderful thing. It's in a great, great package. So you don't have to take it out the box like I did. What do you guys think? Do you like that Superman? Do you like the way he looks? Do you like the way these guys look? Yeah, a little cheesy, but look at the presentation. Beautiful presentation. Will you guys get this? Did you guys ever see this before? Well, some of you out there weren't even aware this existed. You are worried about, we want to hear from you guys. Did you know this existed? Would you buy it now? Write down below and let me know because you know I'll get back to you. I love hearing from you. Also, if you liked our show today, our Throwback Thursday show, hit the like button down below and subscribe because we've got a lot of shows. We're coming up to 2,000 plus subscribers, and that's due directly to you guys. Thank you for that. And also check us out on Pinterest and Facebook. We've got other things on there you don't see on the YouTube channel. Thank you guys for joining us. And remember, collecting toys and action figures, even a Throwback Thursday vintage 12-inch three-piece Superman action figure history set from Kenner and FAO Shorts exclusively, toys can be as fun as a battle of monkeys. But respect the monkey. Play nice. Take care, guys. Thank <laughs> you.